For measurements and annotations, start quickly with some basic 2D measurements. Just get a real quick image up on the screen here. And just simply freeze and press the measure button. And here you have all your available measurements. So if I want to just do a quick measurement, it's got, I've got the caliper here and I can just simply click set and then set and make my measurement there, store the image and move on. That is for your most basic imaging for all that. Uh, it didn't really assign it. It's not going to be on the worksheet or anything of that sort because it's just a simple measurement. When you do any sort of unnamed distance measurement that's not associated with a calculation, um, it just it, it, all you're going to get is that on screen. You won't get anything on the report. In order to do something on the report, you need to get something specific. So you can make here and just take your measurement across. And now it actually gives me a measurement that will show up. So we have this up here on our worksheet for a 2D two-dimensional measurements here. So anytime you take something that is a calc, if you want to take a measurement that you need to show up on the report, it needs to have a specific label that would technically be a calculation or some sort of body part, like aortic diameter or something like that when you select that. Store and then unfreeze. I can click on my worksheet again, and then here I've got that diameter right there. So, again, without and this is the same on any other ultrasound machine if you don't use a specific calc or have it assigned to a specific um, piece of anatomy or calculation, it won't show up in that report. That's just an FYI. So, quickly moving on to the Doppler measurements. Let me get my cursor and just go ahead and hit PW to get full. Get invert that. ASO for auto. 